Well, hello folks and welcome back to Crafted Replications. Beard's coming on, so it is. I think I'm getting ready for Christmas. But uh, talking of Christmas, I've got a few wee jobs to finish off for Christmas. I've just uh, done a wee restoration job. It's just gone back at the minute. I'm working on um, a job for uh, Declan Ross over in Coltrow. Um It's an amazing house. His grandfather built the house. The story behind it is that he... he he went to his work and uh, whatever he had left out of his wages every week, he went and bought brick for it and eventually bought this here bungalow. Uh, Ross has given me permission to put this on video, so I'm going to put a couple of pictures up of the bungalow that his grandfather did build, brick by brick, from week by week. And uh, I'm making a copy of it for him, uh, for his mother. Uh, it's a surprise. I hope she doesn't see this here. But uh, I'm going to get on with it now and do the video in two parts, so I am. And uh, this is part one. I also want to thank all new subscribers. Thank you so much. It means it so, so much and stuff like that to have you on board. Um, if you've seen some of the other stuff, I think you'll enjoy this wee journey as well, especially as it is someone's house who their grandfather actually built. I'll leave it at that for now, and uh, I'll get on, and I uh, hope you enjoy part one. All right. Thanks, now. Bye-bye. Well, folks, hopefully you can see here that I've got the building all rooted out for the um, external walls anyway, and the um, uh, the extension on the front. This is like the extension on the back, and the cons uh, conservatory is just here, so it is. So it'll be basically this is the front of the building. Obviously, no doors or nothing are cut out yet, so they're not. Uh, I'll sit along there, like so. Then you've got the rear of the building. All in 1 to 24 scale, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that. And that'll be in there. And then you have... Front section here where the front windows are, the garage and doors. That'll be sitting in there. That'll be the general size of the bungalow. For the mind, there is a basement underneath this here, but I'll have to discuss that with Ross. But uh, at the minute, that's what we're looking at. Um, side walls will be next. And um, once the side walls are all in, we can start then cutting out the openings for the doors and windows and um oops we'll go from there and here is a quick um overlook of the actual structure from the living room the front door will be on the other side there um down to the rear here where the garage is um just to give me sizes ready for the internal structure uh, the windows and all will be marked out from here now. This bit here, where you see here, will be for the um, extension on the back. So the steps up to it, and the same here with the conservatory going out to there as well. Um, so we'll, we'll get on with uh, 
working out the windows, doors, etc. and stuff like that there and it'll make a bit more sense to you after that. I do, folks. I'm sorry I didn't up the video. I just wanted to jump in here real quick, just a quick explanation. Um, the video is going to be uh, a cracker, so it was I had everything sorted, everything done, put it on the system. Stupidly deleted all the old files and stuff like that. There, so lost all my backup of three hours of video. Um, I put this together with what was left because whenever I put it on, all the files were corrupted. Hence, that's why there's music playing when music shouldn't be playing and so on. It seems a bit up to down there. I just want to explain it to you because I thought I was getting better at doing videos and uh, all of a sudden I've ruined this here one here so I have but at least it'll, I still put it on because I thought it would be a step in the um, part two which will be just the, the finishing of everything off and stuff like that there as I said later on and um, I'm hoping to get a few pictures and stuff like that there of the original house one as well so That'll be that for now, and I'll stick this in the middle of the video somewhere. So, well, but I hope I've not dropped it too much for you. Enjoy.
folks as here you can see i've jumped ahead a wee bit and just clamped the interior together it's uh basically just done with glue at the minute and a couple of rad nails just holding each wall in position till the arm um, glue sets really glue it'll set solid and um we will be securing it as well with screws but that's the basic of the interior the exterior done and uh, i've already done some work on the roof um we we'll wait that there it dries and then we'll um start thinking about the extensions here one on the right hand side here behind the garage and one on the left here from the back um which was his grandfather built and then from there we'll even ever hang out and uh start making the structure for the the um the roof okay leave it there for now the plastic coating out and that's how it's finished ready for painting give it a stand down see how it comes up from there but didn't like doing it didn't like the smell didn't like what it was affecting the eyes but it's done but at least i know not to do it that way again and don't you try it either <laughs> Now this is what I've previously cut out. Obviously the slates aren't on it yet, but um it shall fit to there like so. So if I cut another one of these for the front side and then we're gonna cut another back face for there and then that's again that's the um the structure for the roof done. And we'll come back to you shortly. Again, just temporarily in place. I've marked it so I have to I get it exactly where I had it in the dry fit. there so again let that sell move on to the next bit why should speak you could have them out there right in the center you could it'd just be boxes if you didn't put that extra effort into them right and in case any of you think is this for outside what's he using flashing for <laughs> i'm not using flashing i'm using um this tape just the um keep strength up where i've where i've glued and more than more than that it's basically just to make sure where i have it set now is where it's going to stay so they know where the markings are and how to mark it so 
that's the only reason why this silver tape so nothing to do with them proofing or anything in case any of you want to put it in the comments <laughs> not that you will because i don't really get comments but you never know one day like i've had the odd comments who i have which is great um i had one the other day there about the um previous video i done with the, the black and dacker lathe from lewis which was really interesting um reference what size of turns you can do and it's it's surprising with that lathe you can do more than what you think there we are so i'm just gonna let that go off and then we'll be drilling through to keep everything secure in place so i'll be putting dials through i think i think i'll be putting dials through i haven't fully decided um just to hold the structure in place for rafters but uh that'll do us for now on this section of it um i already cut the wood this morning down in the uh garage on the big table saw for the inside doors so i'll be working on them soon but for now that's uh that's going to settle i'm now here sorry i'm going to attempt something i haven't done before what my intentions are is to drill through and put dials through uh four parts of the roof um to keep it in place because i don't want to spring them back anyway i don't know if this will work but i'm going to try it anyway and see um if worse comes to it and stuff like that there i haven't done a great deal of, of harm so basically you have to go in at this angle basically plugging it as i say i don't know how this is going to work folks because i haven't tried this before but there's no nothing in my mind tells me that it's not going to work so we shall see i don't want to ruin the saw cutting up too close but I don't. mind there's all going to be states going on top of this as well so um it's going to have extra strength there but what i'll do i'll go around i'll do it the same sort of way and uh i'll bring it back when we finish that door off for it that all seems to have dried reasonably well and in place everything seems to be holding everything's locked in so from here what we'll do with this be japanese style saw nothing like what a real japanese saw is but it's uh handy just to trim off here sanded down obviously but the only reason why i need them flush is because i'll be putting the slates on top so none of this obviously this will be seen um there'll be a join going in here so there will but i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that at the moment but uh say for now that's uh that's really ready for the the roof to be tiled and then um before actually tile the roof the chimney will be going on 
and then um, we can start getting the doors on, which we've already cut, but um, just not quite ready for them yet. Uh, you can see how I've done this here, how it looks on the inside. Now, it will need filled. Yes, it's a new idea. I haven't tried it before, but uh, from what I'm feeling, it seems to have actually held the structure together quite well. Um, I'll probably be putting extra braces in behind each of these um, dials to hold it, but for now, um, I'm quite happy with that there. Quite happy only because it's a new idea. Right, that is for now. That's the end of part one, so it is, folks. Uh, I hope you like what you see so far and you will come back for part two. But uh, in the meantime, I shall go and edit this here a wee bit and uh, see how we go from there and uh, let Ross know. Well, we um, you'll be seeing the finish. Drain pipes, nail beam, everything. But uh, to say, you'll see from the pictures at the start um, what we're striving for. And uh, thanks very much for joining me for now. And again, thanks if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate it. Really do. All right, through. See you later.